What's up, y'all? Hope everybody's good whenever you see this. Um, you know, I wasn't gonna say more about this because I really, you know, whatever, it is what it is. Um, but a couple of people, and uh, and I mean a, a few people, uh, so if you are amongst the people who posted or said something to this effect, uh, yes, I mean you, but I also mean probably five other people I know. This is about the Dave Chappelle special. You know, ever since, you know, a bunch of folks, myself, Saeed Jones, Roxanne Gay, some other black queer folks in particular wrote um, and, you know, had things to say about it. So um, the critique I've seen from uh, black LGBT folks is essentially, well, Dave Chappelle was talking about racism amongst you know, the white LGBTQ community, and that's what he was addressing. Um, so, so therefore, uh, why the rest of us mad or, or find it problematic, if not, you know, mad about it. And let me just say this, nobody probably in this century, more than me, has written about racism among the white LGBT community. Many of y'all who, you know, know any of my work from, you know, the first decade of the 2000s, that's all the fuck I did was keep my foot in their ass um, <laughs> around racism and, you know, the kind of e the equality movement. Um, but here's my problem with with that analysis and, and also and with the special itself. I frankly don't have a problem if Dave Chappelle wanted to just address the kind of 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 privilege and, you know, kind of racist behavior of, you know, white LGBT folks um, who approach him about his, you know, humor, his comedy or, or whatever the issue was. Right. I, I wouldn't actually have a problem if he didn't use homophobic and transphobic tropes in order to do that. So to give an example of like, you know, how this would look if we did this from a vantage point of race. So let's say, you know, a comedian did a whole fucking special about like a white comedian, let's say, did a whole special about uh, about like, you know, black people. Right. And tw two or three times in the special said, I'm not talking about. African Americans for, per, per se, right? Like I'm talking about Haitians or Nigerians or you know whomever, right? Something or or I'm not talking about black folks from the north. I'm talking about them Negroes from the south, whatever. And then proceeded to use racist tropes that apply to black people everywhere um, as the basis for that exclusion of who he means and who he doesn't mean. That shit still would not fly with me, right? Um, and I don't even care, like, it would not fly on any fucking level. So to me, that's one of the problems with this, like, thing about his special that he was only addressing sort of white LGBT folks. Then don't use homophobic and transphobic tropes. I mean, all the old stereotypical shit, right? Stuff that's not even like new and inventive. It's like old shit, you know, talking about genitalia and feet and hand size and Adam's apples and all that type of shit uh, is still applies to black trans folks, right? Or gender non-conforming folks or whatever the case may be. And so like we all get caught up in that dragnet, right? It's not just uh, he can't parse it that way based on the jokes that he actually wrote. So for me, y'all can miss me with that bullshit. And, and I'm saying this and I'm not, I didn't write what I wrote to attack him or, or, you know, whatever. Cause I, I do think, you know, whatever. I want to hold some possibility somewhere. I got, I ain't seen it yet, but somewhere that he can like maybe think about this differently. And that's going to probably take some one-on-one -on -one conversations with folks, right? Like, I, you know, that may be possible. But what we cannot do is excuse ranges of homophobia and transphobia 
because somebody threw in a couple of phrases and I watched the special twice before I wrote the, you know, as I was writing the piece. Um, you know, or I, I, I never had this problem with black LGBTQ roles, but then I'm gonna use all these, you know, transphobic and homophobic tropes um, to talk about racism. The, the two things don't go together. If you're gonna talk about racism, talk about racism and talk, and you can talk about the LGBT community and you could probably write funny jokes that way, but there's a way to do that that then does not involve homophobic and transphobic tropes. That's all I got to say on that shit. So y'all can keep defending that bullshit if you want, but miss me with it. Peace.